is YBR, and I've had quite a few people ask me, how do you download mods for BMG Drive? Now, I've already done a video in the past that explains how to install mods for BMG Drive, but I've never done one that explains how to download and install them. And the process to install them is slightly different from when I made that previous video, so we're going to make a video that covers the whole process on how to download and install mods right here. So first off, you're going to need to buy BMG Drive. Yes, you really do need to buy it, because when you buy it, that gives you access to the BMG Drive section of the forum. As you see, it's an exclusive area for BMG Drive users, and to get access to the section you need to participate in alpha testing, which means you need to buy the game. So after you buy the game, this section of the forum shows up. Now your other option is to not buy the game and use really sketchy websites that steal from the forums, or just have mods that are of generally poor, poor quality. Now tell me this though, would you trust a thief to not put a virus in the mod? Think about it, I wouldn't, so you know, I'd rather just support the developers and keep myself safe and just actually buy the mod and get the mods from their actual mod developers, you know? So anyways, after that, you'll have access to this area. Now the showroom is what you want. The showroom has a bunch of sub forums that say, you know, mod skins, vehicles, terrains, whatever. So you have two options. You can just click on it from here. You could go to the showroom, then you can scroll down a bit and say, I want, I want a vehicle. So you click vehicle and then boom, you get this tab. And then you'd be at the top, so you scroll down. And now you see there's tags on each form thing. There's work in progress, work in progress beta released, and then released. To download the mod, it has to actually be released and available for download. So you're going to want to either pick a work in progress beta released mod or released mod. Your mods will not have this coloring on them, on the text. That is something I personally do to keep track of which mods I have and haven't made videos for. So let's say I want the 1949 Cadillac Series 62 convertible. You're going to click that, and then you're going to get to this page. So on this page, you've got a page that tells you all about the mod, has a video even, you know, pictures, everything you'd ever want to know about the mod. And if you scroll down, you could uh, read about what people said about the mod. All kinds of stuff, you know? So, after that, you're going to scroll down right here where it says Attach Files, and you're going to click 49 Cadillac.zip, and it's going to come up with this. You're going to hit Save File, OK. And that is down downloading. The mod is downloading right now. It's downloading. And if you see, it's going to take three minutes. It's a little slow, but that's OK. So then, let's show you how to uh, download Terrain. For Terrain, it's much the same process. You know, let's say you're at the forums. You say you click on Terrains, and boom, you're at this page now. After you're at this page, you're going to say, scroll down, say, whoo, what mod do I want to make a video for? And you'll be like, I want to make a video for, well, this is me. <laughs> what mod do I want to make a video for? But for you, it's what mod do I want to play with? So you're going to say, I want to I want to play with Leap of Death, because I saw why I'd be out crushing cars there every video, pretty much. So I want Leap of Death. So you click that, up comes this page, and it has a small description and a video for the, a couple of videos for the game, actually, for this map, actually. And then you're going to hit down, the same thing, you're going to hit Leap of Death, then you're going to hit OK. And that'll start the downloads. And after the downloads are done, you can open up the files. So right here, we got the 49 Cadillac. I actually downloaded it twice because I downloaded it beforehand to make sure the download would be done in time. So you're going to open that up. And then you're also going to want to open up a, com a, ran a normal window for your computer. Okay, just like that. All right, so then you're going to want to go to whatever folder you have Steam installed. A lot of people have it installed in Program Files or Program Files x86. And then you'll find a folder in there called Steam. I personally download put Steam in my own special folder which is under games and then steam. You don't have most people don't do that. So it's either going to be under program files or program files x86. After that, you're going to go to scroll down, you're going to go to steam apps, then you're going to go to common, then you're going to go to beam and z drive, and if you're installing a vehicle, you're going to go to the vehicles folder. And then you see this one says 49 Cadillac, and you open it up there are all the files for the Cadillac. So all you have to do right here is you have that file, you have the folder open and you drag it into here. And boom. The vehicle has been installed. That is it. That that vehicle is done. That's it. It's good to go. So let's go back a page, and then we're going to open up Leap of Death. So there we go. Leap of Death is now opened up. We're going to pull up the uh, other window as well. So there we go. We got Leap of Death right here, and then we got this window. So you're going to want to go to the Levels folder this time. You're going to want to find that, and then you're going to want to drag Leap of Death into there and copy it in. And there you go. That is how you download and install mods for BMG Drive. That is the whole process. That's everything you need to know to be able to install mods all on your own. Hopefully this is helpful to you. And um, if anybody ever asks me how to download mods, I will redirect you to this video because this is as clear of an explanation as I can possibly do. Alright, this has been YBR. I'll see ya.